and I do think they ask, right? They ask first class for all our first class and Star Elite and, and, you know, and Star Alliance Gold members who now board with their lever. Um, okay, now boarding area one. Um, okay, um, here I go. Um, okay, uh, oops. Um, okay, so a key use here is what, uh, representing the waiting rooms. Um, and this is super useful if you want to represent lists in your model. Um, so Amy is representing a list associated with transplant. Um, uh, I have another student who's representing a list associated with treatment for an infectious condition. Um, here you have people waiting and they get, and you call poll to get the first person in the list. It keeps track of ordering them according to priorities. If they're all in order, just keep track of the order they came in. They start, you know, at the back for their priority level, and then you go pull, and it gives you the one that's next, and it gives you the one that's next. And you can keep on polling and get people off there, treat them in turn. And it just keeps track of them being all queued up. Yeah? Did you use this during the um, so, so that was used behind the scenes, yeah. Um, but I didn't have to do that. That's that sort of process or into modeling, it automatically has one of these. But um, uh, actually, yes, I did. Actually, I did use it explicitly at one point where um, if people get sick, they uh, get in a priority queue, and then um, where then they get injected into the network, and it draws them from that priority queue. I did do that. In fact, you're right. Um, but but you know, in these other models, like. Um, there's a fixed number of doctors who could treat people who are getting uh, this, who are ill with this infectious condition, and so they're queued up. And the more people that are sick, the more longer the queue is, and the longer it takes to treat people, and, and they get treated one by one by one. Um, so you can call Paul to get the people one by one off the queue. And the beauty of it is that it maintains all these in the right order. You don't have to worry actually about, all you have to specify is, given two people, which one is higher priority? That's all you have to specify. And um, and it takes care of keeping them in the right order, advancing them as you go poll, poll. So, so you remove them from this queue. They're just lined up, and you keep on working through them. Or you can call peak. Peak lets you see the person at the front of the line. Oh, that's that's him. Oh, okay. Um, and and then you can go off and do some more work, and then maybe eventually you poll him and get him. Get him. Um, anyway, so so queues are are really handy really handy for sort of showing a list, waiting for something. And they basically do the work for you. You just have to specify a, a comparator. So there's something called priority queue in Java that keeps track of this for you. Okay, building your own collections. Um, right, um, I'm not gonna talk about this much, but suffice it to say, ladies and gentlemen, that sometimes in your models, you find yourself wanting to store data. Like, let's suppose you you want to store up history information on a person. Maybe it's an electronic health record, a stylized version of that, um, representing the sort of data you get from a chart review for the patient, so off a patient chart. So maybe you want to bundle together a bunch of information like this. And in Java, the, you could put it, you could just put it in the ancient class, but you, you probably want to eventually create a class that's called health record or something like that, and it has these things in there, and it knows how to print itself out, and knows how to put itself in a database, and it knows how to, how to, you know, answer questions about itself, about how complete it is, or whatever. You just put it in a class of your own. So, so eventually you may want to build your own little classes in Java, okay? And it's actually really easy to do. I'm not saying you have to do it at first, you don't, but eventually it becomes, it becomes kind of a second nature thing. If you need to clump together a bunch of information so it's not cluttering up your whole agent class, so you can add information to there in the future,